So in much a similar way that I removed this green screen background I have right behind me, you can actually do that on all different types of images, whether you have a program running, but you want to eliminate the background so it looks like a transparent background to have it as like an overlay on your stream or anything like that. Or while you're recording, you can use this exact technique for almost anything to eliminate the background and make it a transparent background image or program. Now, we'll be honest, it does not work particularly well with white backgrounds for sure, and probably black as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you this right here. And we're gonna use this right here, this Le Lego logo right here. We wanna get rid of that red background on it. Now it's obviously right here is the image. We're gonna go ahead and right click on it and we're gonna go to filters and go to edit filters. Once you come into here, it says this plus sign right here, it says add filter, go ahead and click on that. This screen will pop up and go ahead where filter type and go ahead and open that up. Now you don't see it quite away. Scroll down just slightly and boom, there it is slightly hidden, the chroma key. Go ahead and select that and bring it up and you added it to the image. Now you see it doesn't do exactly what you wanna do because it's automatically set to green because generally most people use it for green screens, but there are other applications for it such as this. Go ahead and click the drop down and come down to custom because we don't want blue or magenta or green. Let's go to custom and then it brings up this color picker. Go ahead and pick screen color and just go ahead and select the red. Now it all went away, that's okay, it's because it's not set properly for this particular type. Go ahead and bring the similarity down, we'll see what it looks like, and wow, that looks pretty much perfect already. You do see a slight red border, but I actually already cropped the image down slightly to eliminate that on it. When I go back to the uh, to the actual screen, you go ahead and see, so I have it set pretty good. You can adjust this stuff differently, we'll move it a little bit. There goes the actual red outline, depending on how you want it, but you see if you move this up, the more it is close to that color, the more it'll eliminate. So actually yellow is closer to red than gray or black, so it leaves the gray or black. But as you get closer, you can see that. And also the same with the smoothness. You can adjust it, uh, these accordingly to how you want it. We want it nice and bright. So we're actually taking the similarity down. It's much more useful when you're doing an actual green screen and you have slight variations in the green color and the shading due to shadows or to seams or anything like that. So right like that looks absolutely perfect. Boom, we have a perfect transparent background Lego logo. Look at that, you can put it right over top of me and boom, you can see that it's perfectly transparent background. So hopefully that helps you out to put for your overlays for your streams or when you're making videos.